all I ever wanted was to drive a really nice car. Uh, but we could never afford one. We would just buy these shit boxes and, and, and run them into the ground. And a man is measured by the kind of car he drives. And it's not a good feeling because... Well, because I didn't want to be Mr. Shitbox anymore. And Michael got the raise he was asking for at work and money was really, really good. So I said to him, go out and get something you'd really like. He bought the invisible car. This is just the first in a whole line of invisible vehicles. It, before this, it was just like top secret military, like spy stuff. Like uh, you're out and your enemies are walking down the road and they're all like, oh, we're safe because I don't see a car here. And then bam, invisible car. You take them all out, right? Like it's real James Bond stuff. Michael likes spy movies and invisible things, things that go invisible. Okay, well, it doesn't go invisible. They don't have that technology yet. It just is invisible. It's the invisible car. The invisible car. Actually, it was surprisingly affordable. It was the last one on the lot. Well, the guy told me it was the last one on the lot. And not only that, but when I sat in the car for the first time, it was like sitting in the future. It was so awesome. So I knew right then and there that this car was the one. Whoa, this isn't it. This isn't it. Honey, you have to remember to park it in the spot, OK? Just park it, please. Yeah, so we're invisible right now. Anybody out on the sidewalk they would not be able to see us. So it's pretty awesome. The interior of the car, as you can see, is not invisible. Uh, apparently, in the testing phases of the car, they did have an invisible interior, but it really freaked with people's heads, so they uh, decided to uh, visibleify the inside of the car. He had all the neighbors over to show it off, and he'd open up the hood, and he'd describe the engine to them. He'd tell them to kick the tires. He'd show them where to kick, and they'd kick it, and there'd be a tire there. They were all pretty impressed by that. If we wanted to, we could drive right into some big uh, top secret government facility as long as they didn't have a fence or a gate or anything like that. Just drive right in, just like James Bond. Oh, and it's not radar invisible. Uh, we found that out the hard way. Michael wanted to get one of those things off the internet that make the car radar invisible, but they're illegal. Um, and I just felt the car was invisible enough. Oh yeah, now the pylons are key because without them, people wouldn't know that there was a car in the space and, you know, anyone could just drive right into the car. It's very dangerous, so the pylons are extremely important. No, oh, no, what just happened? I don't believe this. Oh, what the hell did you do to my car? What happened? You drove into my car. What car? My invisible fucking car, asshole. What do, what do the pylons mean to you in your world? When you see pylons, you just drive right through them? Live in some, like, fantasy world where pylons mean drive through me? Oh, fuck you, buddy. No, fuck you. Get on your bike and get out of here and try not to drive through any more pylons while you're at it because you might not make it home. Fuck. You know, you put out pylons for people as a public service and then shit like this happens. All I wanted was a hybrid, and he said they weren't fucking practical. So I had to get the car towed. That took a while, because the tow truck guy just kept hooking in air twice. Pretty sure he cracked the windshield, I think. Anyway, my shop guy and I took a look at it, and it'll be okay. It's just going to take a little work. But in the meantime, I have to drive this piece of shit again. I'm not looking forward to this. Welcome back, Michael. Shut up, talking car. It's been a while, Michael. Shut up, talking car. All systems are go. Fuck you, talking car. I wouldn't play around with the turbo boost, Michael. Just please, shut up, talking car. You never take me anywhere nice anymore. Ah. <sighs>